Today we are going to study unit seven, lesson four. Please open your syllabus book on page number 58. Today we are going to study grammar lesson. We are going to study relative clauses, defining and non-defining. For more information, you can go to grammar reference on page number 130. Here, the grammar in this lesson, we are talking about how to join since using the relative pronouns. These are the relative pronouns. Who, that, which, whose, when, where, whom, etc. And you will know more. First, let's start with a simple exercise. I choose the correct answer. Read and choose. Hands up. Who can answer this question? Yes, Abdurrahman Radwan. I didn't enjoy the movie, which I watched yesterday. Excellent. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Second one. Choose the correct answer. Read and choose. This is what this is conjunctions for contrast or for uh, cause and effect. Despite, however, though because. Read and choose. Abdurrahman Tabakh. Okay, waiting for you. You can wait. Wait. Wait and you will see. It depends on it depends on the speed of the internet. Okay, Abdurrahman. Ahmed. The judge sent uh, here uh, to a person uh, the fact uh, that she had very small children. Uh, however, no, let's see. Muhammad Ahmad Ramadan. Um, though, yes. I mean, Jamal. Oh, it says despite. Despite. Very good. The judge sent her to person despite the fact that she had very small children. The third one. I don't remember the day we met. When, who, who's that? Khalid Walid. Yes, teacher. I can't remember the day space we met. The day that we met. The day that. Muhammad Jalal. Uh, the day when we met. Thank you, Khalid. Uh, Muhammad Jalal. I can't remember the day when we met. Yes, good. Muhammad Jalal and Muhammad, uh, the one answered again before. You are right when the first two times. I can't remember the day when we met. Here, today we are going to study the relative clause, the relative pronouns. Please listen to me and pay attention here. Here, these are the relative pronouns. Who, which, whose, whom, that, why, when, and where. Who use, is used for people? Example, the woman who called yesterday was to buy the house. So who, who is, uh, comes before, comes after, after uh, a person. And it is followed with the verb, which is used for things and animals. Did you see the letter which came today, which here refers to the letter? So, which for things or animals? I love the puppy, which is jumping at the kitchen. Puppy is a small dog, so it's an animal. We use which for things or animals. What about whose? You, you, whose is used for positions of people or, uh, and animals? So, whose comes between two nouns? He's a man whose opinion. 
the opinion refer to the man. He's a man whose opinion I respect. She is the student whose handwriting is the best in my class. Handwriting refers to the student. So whose comes bef uh, before or between two nouns? This is Ahmed, whose father is a doctor. Father refers to Ahmed. Whom? Whom is used for people when the person is the object of the verb? So whom is like who? It refers to people, but who is followed with a verb? And whom is followed with a subject and a verb? The author whom I criticized in your review has written a letter in reply. So I deleted here, uh, you criticized him. I deleted him here. Him is an object pronoun. So whom comes after a person and it must be followed with a pronoun and a verb. What about who, who comes after a person and it must be followed with a verb? That, that is used for people, things and animals. You can use that instead of who, instead of which, instead of who. The girl that we met in France has sent us a car. That is used instead of whom, the girl whom we met. We live in a ground floor flat that backs onto a busy street. That is used instead of which. We live in a ground floor flat which backs onto a busy street. Do you like the cat that is sleeping underneath the table? That instead of which. Do you like the cat which is sleeping underneath the table? What about why, when, and where? Why refers to the reason. Do you know the reason why the market is closed today? When refers to the time. The day when, the time when the concert takes place is Saturday. The national day is when or today is the national day when uh, people celebrates uh, in the Gulf Street. Where refers to places. This is the house where my son was born. Notes here, there is no preposition in the second sentence. This is the house where my son was born. We can use which for places, but you must have a, a preposition. This is the house in which my son was born. This is the house which my son was born in. Now let's move to the second point. Here uh, we have a relative clause is divided into two parts, defining clause and non-defining clause. What's the difference, defining clause? Defining clause, it means you don't use commas because you give necessary information and essential to distinguish which thing or which person uh, we are talking about. I called my brother who lived, lives in Ontario. There is no commas here. There is no commas or there are no commas here. So it means I have more than one brother and I am talking about my brother who lives in Ontario. I called him. So I have more than one brother. But if you put if you put a comma like this, my brother who lives in Ontario is older, it means I have only one brother and I'm just mentioning that he lives in Ontario. So when we, we when we don't use commas, it means this is necessary information. We can use that. We can use that in a seat of who or which. I called my brother that lives in Ontario. طالما ما فيش فصلة هنا ممكن نستخدم that بدل من who. ممكن نستخدم that بدل من which. That's the mug. Mug means carpet. That's the mug. 
which I bought in Paris. That's the mug that I bought in Paris. I didn't know the man who was there. I didn't know the man that was there. So we can use that instead of who or which when you have necessary information. A relative pronouns cannot be omitted. You cannot delete who or which or that when when they are followed with subject or verb. Do you like the song which I wrote? Do you like the song that I wrote? That's the man who I like. That's the man that I like. We cannot delete which or that when they are followed with a subject or a verb. What about the non-defining? Non-defining clause, they must come between commas. Because they give extra information, not necessary to distinguish which thing or person we are talking about. My brother is older. It means I have only one brother. Because they give extra information, not necessary information. We cannot use that. My brother who lives in Ontario is older. Don't say my brother that lives in Ontario is older. Don't use that. These bikes, which cost a fortune, are made in Japan. Because you have commas here, these are uh, uh, unnecessary uh, pieces of information, and you cannot use that. Relative pronouns cannot be omitted. لا يمكن حذف who, which, or that. أم بكون في حالة extra information معلومات إضافية. They introduced me to John, who I liked immediately. Don't say they introduced me to John. I like the immediately. who or which or that. What's the difference in meaning between these two sentences? They mentioned there are two commas and there are no commas. Who can explain? My sister who is from Chicago visited me last weekend. My sister who is from Chicago visited me last weekend. What's the difference in meaning? Abdurrahman Ziyad. The, the second sentence means I in English, Abdurrahman. I have only I have only one sister. Very good. I have only sentence, one sister. Second I sentence. Maybe have uh, another I have uh, sister. more. Not sure. Not not don't say maybe have. So it's uh, you are certain. It's certain. Yes. So you are or sorry, you have more than one sister in the first sentence. But you are talking about your sister who is from Chicago. Okay. Thank you. Khalid has got uh, Muhammad. Uh, sorry, has got uh, Muhammad Zayad and has got. Uh, yeah, uh, and Abdurrahman. So uh, you have more than one brother. Okay, let's learn some of the new vocabularies to help us in our lesson today. Demonstrate. 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 Demonstrate your product. You should demonstrate means explain, show something clear, make something clear. So demonstrate means explain, and the noun demonstration. Demonstrate the verb. Yes, Muhammad Jalal. Yes. Yes. Uh, as I told you, use commas, use commas because uh, this is extra information or this relative clause uh, gives extra information. Yeah, and you know, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that
uh, my sister visited me last weekend. It means I have only one brother, Muhammad Jalal. في جملتين. بس هنا الجم الجملة الثانية فيها فصلات. معناها إن دي جملة اعتراضية ممكن أحذفها. معناها أنا أي عندي أخ أخت واحدة. I have only one sister. But the first one, there are no commas because the relative clause gives necessary information. It's essential. يعني كده بتحدد هنا أي أخت بتتكلم اللي زارتك الأسبوع الماضي. My sister who is from Chicago. It means you have more than one sister. في الجملة الأولى أنت عندك أخت أكثر من أخت. بس مين اللي زارتك أختك اللي جاية من شيكاغو. Okay, محمد. Thank you. Is that clear? Thank you. You will have more example. You will have demonstrate. A demonstrate here to show or explain. Prominent. Prominent. Prominent is an adjective, means very important, well-known, important, necessary, essential, basic. So prominent is an adjective. Prominent. Transatlantic. Transatlantic. Transatlantic is an adjective describing the journey, the ship, the, uh, the country, the city. Uh, transatlantic, crossing the Atlantic Ocean, or relating to countries on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Transatlantic. Transatlantic. Resident. Resident. Resident is a noun. A person who lives somewhere permanently or on a long term basis here. Uh, so in Kuwait, we have Kuwaiti citizens, we have Kuwaiti citizens, and we have residents like uh, Egyptian, Syrian, uh, Somali, etc. These are the residents, uh, people who are living in Kuwait. Uh, so resident. A resident, someone who lives somewhere permanently or on a long term basis. Resident. As a verb, reside. Half. 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 Either of two equal periods of time into which a sports game or a performance is divided. So uh, in a football match, we have uh, two halves the first half and the second half of the match. Half. Tension. Tension. Tension means stress, worry, tension, the state of being stretched, tight. Uh, tension is, an, is a noun and the, uh, the adjective tense. Disappointing. Disappointing. Disappointing is an adjective describing a thing or a match, a movie, a film. Did you like the match between uh, Al Zamalik and Al Ahli? No, I didn't like it. It was disappointing. Disappointing. Failing to fulfill someone's hopes or expectations. So, disappointing is an adjective describing a thing that makes you disappointed. So, I feel disappointed. The match is disappointing. Zealous. Zealous. Zealous is an adjective describing a person or a people. Here, having or showing passionate, enthusiastic. So, zealous means enthusiastic. Zealous. Reveal. Reveal. Reveal is a verb. Reveal. Reveal. Reveal to make previously unknown or secret information known to others. Look at the girl. She is revealing a secret to her friend. Reveal. She is telling someone secret. Reveal. Potential. Potential. Unlock your potential. Discover your quality or ability. Natural qualities or abilities that may be developed and lead to future success or usefulness. Potential can be a noun or an adjective. Potential means natural quality or ability, uh, possibility. Victory. Victory. Victory is a noun. Victory. An act of defeating an enemy in a battle or game, competition. Victory. Victory. So, uh, relative clothes are divi uh, divided into two parts defining clothes and non defining clothes. Defining clothes uh, give, uh, they give extra or sorry, they give essential information and we don't use commas. And non defining uh, information or non defining clothes. Uh, they give non-essential, uh, non-essential information. We use commas. I'll never forget the day when I started working. 
Mark who lived in Italy, invented the first radio. Here, the second sentence here, you put commas because this is what this is uh, unnecessary information. You can delete it. Markney invented the first radio because there is only one Markney. Okay. Now, you've got the first exercise in your students' book. Please open your students' book on, the, on this page. Uh, you've got here first exercise. Find the relative clause in three of the following sentences and under, underline them. One of the sentences does not contain a relative clause. Look at these uh, sentences here or these examples A, B, C, D. The first one is answered. John Logie Bird, who was a Scotch engineer, invents the world's first working television system. Here we underline the relative clause who was a Scotch engineer. Now, B, C, and D underline the relative clause. In the short, B. Yes, as you like. Yes, it's up to you. His early achievements, which uh, demonstrated working the television broadcast, arranged him a uh, prominent, prominent place in the invention of uh, television. Yes, underline uh, the early... which domin domin demonstrate domin working it... telev television broadcast. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Third one, Ahmad Yasser. In the 1920s, Bart set up the Bird Television Development Company, LTD, when he made the first uh, translatic television Trans transmission from London to, to New York. Um, when he made the first, the first translatic television from London to New York. Excellent. Thank you. Here, the last one, letter D. Do you have a little close? Bird produced a live moving scale, uh, gray scale television image from reflected light. Do you have who, which, or, who, or that? No. No, no. we don't. So the right answer, one of the sentences doesn't contain a relative clause. Which one? D. D. Okay, D. Now let's say answer exercise two. Exercise two. Answer these questions about sentence one and D. Exercise one. Exercise number one. Here, in which two sentences could we leave out the relative clause because they give us extra but unnecessary information about a person or thing? And if I go mal mal gomal letnin, I go letin, ممكن نحذف ضمير الوصل أو جملة وصلية. لأنها بتعطي جملة غير ضرورية جملة إضافة ارجع كده أي جملة من الجمل دي ممكن تحذف تحذف الجزء اللي احنا خططنا حطينا خط تحتيه A B C which one two of them two of them yes محمد عبد الحميد أحمد محمد عبد الحميد yes A and B A and B and B a and B, yes. And which terms do, do we need the relative clause because it gives the necessary information about a person or thing? Are you going to D with A, B, C? Which one? I Let's see, Omar Lutfi. No, no. Which one? Please lower your hand. One minute, please. In which sense do we need the relative clause? Because it gives us necessary information about a person or thing. Uh, C. Amar? C. Yes, C. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay. In exercise three, Muhammad Jalal, do you remember the, the question you asked me, Muhammad Jalal? What is the difference in meaning between the, these two sentences here? Look at these two examples. My brother, who is a TV cameraman, lives in Kuwait City. My brother, who lives in Al-Wafra, is a teacher. In which sense does the writer have only one brother? One or two? Muhammad Jalal. 
it uh, in the sentence one, the writer has only one brother. Very good. Yes. So in sentence one, the writer has only one brother because uh, you've got two commas here. Uh, this relative clause gives uh, unnecessary information or uh, extra information we can delete. It means I have only one brother. And the second sentence, I have more than one brother, but I'm talking about my brother who lives in al -Wafra. OK, thank you. Now you are going to complete this sentence using uh, using what relative clause uh, here, uh, which contains necessary information. مطلوب منك إنك تعرف الشخصيات الموجودة قدامك. A TV presenter, المقدم للتلفزيوني المذيع, an inventor مخترع, a good radio program, برنامج تلفزيوني at a good TV newsroom الغرفة الإخبارية أو قاعة اللي هي الأخبار. عرفها. You should uh, complete. Using necessary information. Here you have who, whose, which, and where. Who can complete? Muhammad Tamir. A TV presenter is uh, someone who uh, uh, watch the news and interview people or works on the reach and uh, programs. Thank you, Muhammad Tamir. You get the model answer. Yes. So a TV presenter who is someone who reads the news, someone who interviews people or works on a range of problems. Thank you. Next, Kareem Wael. An inventor who uh, should not be forgo forgotten. Yes, shouldn't, should not be forgotten. An inventor who potential, potential was potential. really re uh, realized. Potential was realized. Yes, this is a model answer. Good, Karim. But we can we can answer in a different way. We can give another example. Okay, Karim. An inventor okay. whose inventions benefited us shouldn't be forgotten. As we we've got here whose for position, we should have a noun before and a noun after. An inventor whose inventions benefited us. Shouldn't be forgotten. يعني مخترع التي اختراعاته أفادتنا لا يجب أن ينسى. Thank you. And let's see. محمد أحمد رمضان. C. A good uh, radio uh, program is one which should include the latest news and reports as well as entertainment. Yes, very good. This is a model answer. Very good. Thank you. Amin Jamal. I uh, says a good TV newsroom is where TV presenters read the authentic news. Authentic news. Very good. Good. Thank you. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to read. Uh, thank you so much. We are going to read a story. This story about uh, some friends who are going to watch a football match on TV. Please read the story. Now complete this story using who, where, whose, or which, and then add any necessary commas. وممكن تضيف كما ضرورية. لما تلاقي جملة اعتراضية ممكن تحط كما قبلها وكما بعدها. I'll give you two minutes to read and fill in. محمد أحمد طه ماكس أجاوب أول واحدة yes on Saturday I called over my friend uh, live across the street to watch a football match my friend that about who so who Ooh, thank you okay جمال شيحة two the Together, what them a new friend? Jahan. How? Oh. Name how, sir? Number two, please. Was the right answer? How, how? Don't say how. 
هو جمال سي ذا جين جمال هو يس نوت ها يس ثانك يو خالد وليد يس تيتشر نمبر 3 اوكي It has been a new president in the town we live in. Which? Which? دلوقتي هنا زميلكم يا شباب صف مفصول غلط وقال وير. امتى اقول وير في الجمله دي؟ John who has been a new president in the town where we live. اللي هو في مكان لا ما هو التاون هنا مكان. التاون هنا مكان. Because we do, we have here a preposition. We have here a preposition. We cannot use where. طالما في بربوزيشن في الجملة الثانية وي كانت يوز وير. امتى استخدم البربوزيشن؟ جون هو هاز بين ا نيو ريزيدنت ان ذا تاون وير وي ليف. ان ذا تاون وير وي ليف. اما في بربوزيشن ان استخدم واتش. اوكي؟ ثانك يو. ليتس سي الارضي. يس محمد العرباوي. نمبر فور. ايوه استاذ. وي اول وي اول وور تي شيرتس. Which represented our favorite football team and made thank you yes. and potato crispies. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Nashar, Nashar, yes. Uh, our team felt uh, a lot of uh, pressure. And uh, tension, which very good. Yes, thank you. Let's see. Hazim. Uh, was a little uh, disappointing uh, to us, but then the second half brought about many uh, surprises. The team's uh, captain. Emotions were were raised by the zealous who's yes who's you have here noun and the noun because you have noun and noun so this is what position thank you let's see Abdullah Wael yes Abdullah uh, my friends and I. Well, sharing the whole time watching the match. Whole time. Uh, my friends and I. Who? Who? Very good. Thank you, Abdullah. Okay. Now let's have here uh, some questions for speaking skill. Discuss these questions in in pairs or groups. Listen to to me. I'm going to read the questions. I'll give you two minutes to think about the the answers. And then all the class, lower your hand and raise your hand if you want to speak. Do you like watching football matches? Why, why not? What do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of watching the sport on TV instead of watching it live? C, how do you think different sports have been affected by television scheduling? So you, you should give full answers. You should give full, uh, full meaning, full sense. Don't give me short answers. OK, please, all the class, lower hand, lower hand. Think about the answers for these questions. OK, lower hand, all the class. You are going to tell me if you like your uh, like watching football matches, uh, and you have to give me the reason. And then uh, some people uh, some people like uh, watching the sports uh, on TV instead of watching it live at the stadium. Uh, this uh, this uh, or this action has some advantages and disadvantages. You have to mention what are the advantages and disadvantages, and then. Uh, how do you how do you think different sports have been affected by television scheduling? Here, uh, if you are going to watch a football match on TV, uh, so you have to know the time. So, do you think that uh, different sports have been affected by uh, time scheduling or not?
let's listen to Abdurrahman Zayat. As you like, yes, go on. Yes, I I like watching football matches because I enjoy it. Yes, what else? Uh, the, advant uh, the advantages is uh, when I see it from uh, the TV, uh, the, it's cheaper and uh, comfortable and easy. Very good. Because it's if cheap. I want to, I want to see it in the stadium, I maybe have to travel to another country. Very good. So and it's very it's tiring. Really yes. Expensive and uh, yes, you have to pay for a ticket. It's very crowded. Good. Okay, save the deal. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Uh, yes, I like uh, watching football matches because uh, it was very interesting and I would uh, see the player I love. Uh, I love uh, uh, advantage of uh, watching uh, sport in TV. Uh, there are many advantages uh, like uh, it's cheaper, it's cheaper, and uh, and uh, yes. and uh, uh, a good quality. Uh, yes, a good quality vision. Yes, good. Thank you so much, uh, Amir Hasni. Would you like to add something? Uh, says the, uh, no, because it's uh, it's not uh, my favorite sport. So you you end the discussion. All right. You don't like watching football matches. Why? It's not your favorite sport. What's your favorite sport, Amir? Uh, boxing. Boxing. All right. Uh, you don't you don't watch uh, any football teams? Uh, no. At all. So you like only boxing? Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, but uh, if you are going to answer this question, you don't have to say no. So you have to, you are obliged to say yes, because so that you can continue answering the next question. Imagine, Amir, imagine that you like football uh, matches, okay? So you don't have to say no. Don't say no. Thank you. So the first uh, question, first one, uh, yes. Uh, I like watching football matches because it's my favorite sport. I uh, I feel so happy and excited when I see my favorite football team. I enjoy watching uh, football matches. Here, the advantages of uh, watching sport on TV, it's cheaper, as Abraham said, it's more comfortable and quieter. Uh, we can see the match clearly because of, uh, of the qualities of modern media production. We have a smart uh, TV. Uh, and we can uh, we can what we can see uh, the repeated match or we can see the repeated actions or we can see we can see the match from different different what different cameras or from different corners and we feel comfortable we feel uh, relaxed or we are away from the noise of the of the stadium but the disadvantages the enthusiasm of sharing the audience and watching the players at the stadium is missing. You miss watching uh, the, your favorite uh, football players live. And sometimes an electric cut may stop us from watching. So uh, sometimes uh, the light went out. Sometimes the light when, uh, goes off or goes out. So you, you cannot uh, continue watching the match. How do you think different sports have been affected by television scheduling? The times of matches have been changed to match with the suitable times of TV programs. يعني وقت المباريات تم تغييرها حتى ما تتماشى وتمشي مع أي مع الأوقات المناسبة لعرضها على البرامج أو في التلفزيون. يعني مثلاً بتكون مباريات أغلب المباريات بتبقى أيام العصر أيام مثلاً المغرب أو في الوقت المحدد لزعة المباريات. Uh, sometimes you can watch, you cannot watch uh, two matches at the same time. Uh, for example, I want to see Barcelona and Real Madrid, and at the same time, Zamalek and Al are playing at the same time. 
So television scheduling has added to the popularity of different sports. كم نقول لك أنا جدولة المباريات في التلفزيون ضابط شعبية لألعاب مختلفة. يعني مثلاً شعبية كرة قدم أكثر كرة قدم أكثر شعبية من من البوكسينج. ليه؟ لأنها بتزع أكثر من من مباريات الملاكمة أو مباريات كرة سلة إلى آخره. It has added more finance to the sports. لما يكون في اعلانات في ما بين الاشواط طبعا زاد تمويل الالعاب الرياضيه دي في نسبه نسبه من الارباح والمكاسب بتعود على الانديه وعلى الفرق اللي بتذيع المباراه ونتيجه لايه؟ في اعلانات بتكون موجوده. So it has added more finance to the sports. Now let's have a revision for relative close we started today and uh, let's form a question, make negative. Here you've got three questions. Uh, you've got two minutes to think about these uh, questions. The first one, join using who? Second one, form a question. The third one, make negative. Who can answer these questions? Abdul Rahman Muhammad Subhi. Yes, uh, this man showed us that he they robbed the bank. I'm a swallow at the end of Please join using who? Don't ask question. You are going to join the two sentences to make one sentence. Host, host, uh, also, the thieves, uh, the thieves thank you. Thank who robbed the bank. Thank you, please. No, no, Abdul Rahman, I'm not going to Let's listen to Muhammad Ahmed Ramadan. Listen. Okay, Muhammad Tamir. Muhammad Tamir, yes. Uh... This man saw the says uh, they reported the bank. They robbed the bank. Using who? Amir Husni. Ah. Okay. Uh, Number one, Amir. No uh, answer. Number one. Harder. Uh, uh, this man so uh, the thieves uh, they robbed uh, the bank. Uh, join who? Uh, who? Uh, who? Abdul Rahman Taba. Abdul Rahman Hamid. Uh, this man uh, saw uh, the thieves. Who the robot? Uh, robot uh, was. Then, uh... Yes. I go. Abdul Rahman. Yes, Omar Lutfi. Omar Lutfi. This man, uh, so the thieves, they robbed the bank. This man who saw this, this, uh, the thieves, they robbed the bank. And Tabo Shabab, let's not help come into Badakul Dabi. So all that time, it's my love, it's my habit. Hena Kimit Zay, they refer to the thieves, not the man. As if Kimit Zay Hena, as if Kimit Zay, all this man, so the thieves who robbed the bank. Look at the example here. The answer. This man saw the thieves who robbed the bank. Okay. يعني هو سس عادي هو سس تعود على مجموعة من الناس. حبيبي مفرد أو جمع أيا كان المهم عاقل مهم عاقل. Ask a question. Form a question. He has lived in Paris for three years. Next, let's see. أحمد سمير. Ask question. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, uh, he has uh, lived in Paris for three years. Uh, where 
where uh, where has he lived um, for three years? Very good. Where has he lived for three years? Or we can say how long has he lived in Paris? Okay, last question. Make negative. Make negative. Let's see. Bayumi. The government uh, dispatched 150 bullies, uh, bullies to restore order. Make negative. The government didn't dispatch 150 bullies to restore order. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's stop here. Thank you. Uh, I'm